Hey guys, welcome to another Kronka tutorial. This video is going to be a complete Kronka texture guide. As always, any addition, omission, or clarifications to the content in this video will be added in the pinned comment below. Let's begin. So first, file name format, which is here. Go to the Kronka mod zip textures, and then you can find all the file formats. The mod zip will be here in my Discord server also. This link. The the 5.7.2 at the back is the version number. So if you want the most updated one, just change the version number to something big like 69 back here. So if you want to change, let's say the pups, these are all the the billboards. Let me show you. For example, this is the billboard. You can change all the billboards to a certain color or all the billboards to a picture that you like. Basically, drop that in and change the name to B underscore one all the way to 13. All the map textures would be outside of the folder but still in the textures folder so all here not in the subfolders for melee and weapons it's basically your uh, icons and the melee texture files for example this texture the moon juice melee and the weapons which are all the weapon underscore whatever however beware beware there's another subfolder inside where some of your skins are here. So if you find out that your skin isn't loading into the game, just drop it into the skins folder. So Kranka is also upper textures, weapons, and skins. You can find it here too. Let me show you. Search Kranka Texture Viewer. Enter this. Control Shift I. Go to Network. Let's say you want to find a skin which is hunted here you can find the URL which is textures to weapons to skins so this is a skins file if you put it into the normal weapons it will not work to put it into skins then name it weapon underscore two underscore four four eight underscore eight if you want to change the texture of the hunted but usually you wouldn't want to do that you, you would want to change it to the default right so the default is just in cronker.io slash textures slash weapons. So, so like normally in the weapons folder. The default names are here in my Discord. All here. You join the Discord. So I wanna show you something interesting. If you wanna change the color or something, go to textures. And then you can drop a one pixel file in. Just one pixel of the color that you like. Or rather 4 pixels so it doesn't take up much space in your mod but for some textures the 1 pixel or 4 pixel files do not work so you have to create like a 100 by 100 file 100 by 100 pixel file so going back to the texture viewer so we're back here ctrl shift i go to network let's say i want to find a, a hunter skin which is this krpd stalker you can find all the files here, just double click it, it'll bring you to this, double click it, it'll bring you to this. You can right click and save image. So if I open Photoshop and save these images, I can combine the glow. Basically the underscore E will be the glow. As you can see here, weapon underscore one underscore 21 underscore E will be the glow emissive texture. So the main texture and the glow texture. In Photoshop, drop your main texture in, layer from background, all right. If it says if it says index here, right? Just go to image mode and change it to RGB color. Drop your emissive texture in. Enter. Right click the rasterize layer. Double click on that emissive texture. Blending options. Change it to screen. So you overlay the emissive texture over the main one. Because your default texture doesn't have a glow and you wanna combine that. So in Blender, in Blender what you wanna do. Okay, wait. Right, I'm gonna show you some texturing in Blender. I'm gonna open my SMG die save. So, go into this option. So, when you are, you are using textures in Blender, you need to import the texture first. So, go click on the OBJ, go to this ball, create a new texture using the plus, click new. Base color, click click this yellowish circle, click image texture, open, open the file, 
and boom, the texture is loaded. You can do that for all of these. Go into UV map and selecting the file that you added just now. In edit mode, click on your OBJ file. Make sure it's selected here with the square with the four squares at the corners. Select all and dragging it. You can change the size of the UV map. If you look closely here, the texture is being changed. So it's basically being mapped to a different part of the image. So usually if we are trying to bake textures, like bake two models together, for example in my die mods, you have to make sure that you select the UV map and then adjust it to where the texture is. Just importing the texture here of my right wrist. I've put the UV map, scale it all the way down and put it on the grey part. So when you're using Photoshop, let's say you want to have a grey arm, you go to grey, you put a small mark of grey at the side, something that's not affected, so that you can just yeah, put it there. So that's basically how baking works. So in summary, baking, put all the textures in the same texture, go to this triangle, name it bake, go to UV editing, Bake here, select the texture that you chose just now, click on the model that you want, select all, and then you can adjust. Once you're done, go back to object mode, click on one of the models, scroll out here and make like the selection box thing. Use it to select everything, Control J to join, and then you've successfully baked it all. Right, that's all for this tutorial. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below on the Discord server. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.